All right, back here bright and early this morning. We're gonna work a little bit uh, today here. Um, I'm gonna let him take the dozer and trim over this right here. I'm gonna take that squitter, go down there and I'll put a little bit of stuff in the burn pile and see what happens. Then we're gonna come up here and finish cutting. Well, not finish cutting, but cut some more dirt out of here and get that hauled down there. Okay, so we got here again this uh, morning nice and early and the wind is calm. Very heavy dew last night. A little dry, a little dry, but uh, the wind's calm and it seems to be going out across that wet pasture. So I'm going to add some stuff to this fire. I raked around some of the coals and it got back burning. So now I'm going to grab some of this stuff and put in there and hopefully get rid of all this stuff or a good part of it. It's really just a lot of brush left. I was smart enough to throw all those big logs in there before I left the other day. One to kind of help uh, hold the embers down and two I knew they would take a long time to burn so it kind of all worked out but now I'm just going to try to grab some of this stuff get it in the fire I don't need that great big log in there just yet maybe the little one and get this stuff burnt up is the goal. That way uh, we have more room to dump dirt. So if I can at least get this pile gone and uh, we'll get the dirt stockpiled over here and all I gotta do is just come over here with the dozer and just push it down the hill. Concrete guys finished yesterday, so I don't have to worry about about them. Good to go, hopefully. stuff and putting it on there and uh, hopefully everything should be. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have a good burn. It seems to be doing well. Ashes are falling back this way and smoke is going that way. Yeah, I'll probably need to let that die down just a touch and then I'll go ahead and grab all that and put over there on top of it. So we got enough room right here. I can go ahead and load some more dirt and dump it right here and start kind of filling this corner in while that dies down a little bit. Well, that might be a little excessive, but uh, it's gonna burn down here quickly. So he's spreading some of that dirt out on the hillside over there. I'm getting everything in the pile right here and I'm gonna grab those stumps, put on top of it to kind of smother it down a little bit. And uh, by golly, that's gonna be gone here soon. Back to moving more dirt. So got everything in the fire and burning. Uh, we'll probably be here three more hours today. So I'm gonna let it burn when it's going to burn. And then uh, probably 
smother it or I'll just assess it when uh, the time comes if I want to just push some dirt over and cover it up and it'll do whatever it's going to do underground uh, that way it's not sitting there smoking all weekend long but uh, yeah until then we're making another cut right here on the top edge trying to get rid of the section that has all the septic tank lines in it so we can get those buried and hopefully salvage enough clean dirt to be able to cover all this mess up. But I ended up getting 75 loads yesterday and uh, this is already load number 7 here today so we'll probably get 25 or 30 today. That'll make a good little dent in it where all I've got to do is just kind of uh, start grading with the dozer and uh, cut out the last few loads to cover everything up. Peanuts everywhere. Making more progress onto the next cut here. Hopefully this is the last one with the septic peanuts in. Got the truck on the downhill bench here now. Makes loading a little easier. And uh, since I'm running out of room up here, there's a lot of pipes right here. Just gonna make those go in there like so. Okay. So I'm hoping the distribution box is somewhere right here, so that means that should be the start of the lines and therefore the start of the peanuts, or the end of the peanuts on my behalf. But I'm right here where that tree was. The ground is super dry right here. So this is why I was able to get so much more dirt because originally we weren't going to take this tree down so therefore probably about from here over I wasn't going to be able to cut any of that so it worked out really well where uh, she could park with it and uh, let me get some more dirt I need every scoop of dirt I can get over there this morning it is doing great but uh, if it does become a problem I'll probably just have to bury it in the dirt there so got about two more hours here I'll see what it does before we leave and determine if I want to throw some dirt over top of it or just let it die down I would prefer it just to kind of sit there and burn down as long as there's not a lot of embers and ash coming out just kind of sit there and smolder down the rest of the weekend and everything will be gone on Monday. So keep uh, cutting this dirt out and putting it on the truck. All right, just got that truck loaded. I'm going to haul a couple loads. He's pushing off the dirt that uh, we've dumped this morning. That's load number 17. 
So taking that and just shoving it over the hill there towards the fire. Uh, we'll run a few more loads out. Then I can come over here with the dozer and just next week just start pushing that right on off the hillside and then cap it with my clean. This is some pretty clean stuff here, minus the stray pipe here and there. I like that. That's, uh, that's burning on down good. Feel the heat coming off that fire. I'll end up cutting this down probably a couple more feet. But at least we're getting the dirt over here where it's easy to push down the hill. Ordered some new cutting edges for that thing. It won't be long, It'll be time to change those. Always something. Well, this is going to be the last load for today. This will be load number 33. We'll go down here to the fire and uh, decide if I want to smother it in dirt or leave it burning. 
wind's starting to pick up a little bit. It's drying off. It didn't quite die down as much as I thought it would. It burned a lot of stuff up. Everything is in the pile. Or hole, I should say. I don't know. I just need to make that decision. See if I want to leave it burning or uh, smother it out and just bury the rest of the stuff deeper on Monday. But I'll figure that out in a minute. So I've gotten the uh, cut daylighted out right there. So if it does rain, it should drain out. And uh, I want to grade all that out over there, push that dirt down the hill uh, before I haul the rest of this dirt. That way I can cap all that stuff with the septic peanuts in it. But uh, I still have a section right over here that's in the horse roped off area that has some septic stuff left so I want to do that first thing Monday and uh, that way I can dump it over the edge and go ahead and blend that in so that it will go bye bye but making really good progress moved a lot of dirt uh, it's able to get more dirt out of this hillside than I originally planned which is working out great because uh, Look back here is taking a lot of dirt. It's deceiving when you clear all the trees off how much more sloped it was. But we're getting it done. Two more scoops. It's gonna round out the week. We're dirt moving. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today. We got all that cut out, 33 loads. We're going to quit here at lunchtime. And uh, all that's left to do is cut this out, that section right there, and then that little bit right there. I think I'm going to leave the fire alone and just let it be. It hasn't been a problem all day, so it should die down pretty quickly here now that i'm not adding anything else to it it's not really smoking too bad probably a couple more hours and it'll i mean it's cooking pretty good i would like for that big stump to go down in there but i don't even want to touch it just let it sit there and do what it's going to do at least there's no i think it's fine i kind of hate leaving fires when it's dry but all dirt winds going straight up in the air no really no ashes so i think it'll be all right so we ended up stockpiling all that clean dirt right there and uh i'll come in here monday after i finish hauling that stuff bury what's left there and uh go ahead and push this down the hill or haul the rest of that stuff get it spread down the hill and then cap it even this stuff isn't too terribly bad so but yep that's pretty much the uh scope of the work here cut this down a little bit more and just make this more usable but yeah put a lot of dirt in here so far